Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ling Li. I'm with China Mobile and it is also my honor to serve the ONAP community as the Vice Chair of the TAC. Now let's dive a little bit deeper in how you know, ONAP would support the Voti use case. Actually, there are two typical workflows that I want you to work through with me. The first one is actually the service design and distribution. As you can see from the diagram, um, before a, a service designer ever goes to SDC to uh, start the service design uh, workflow, we assume that all the composite uh, VNFs are already onboarded and verified by SDC and stored in the catalog of SDC to be used in our service design phase. And um, there are three basic um, templates or package that needs to be designed by SDC and shipped to the runtime components. Uh, the first one is actually the end-to-end -end service template, uh, which is uh, called the VOTI service template. As you can see from the diagram, uh, we actually design it and distribute it to the service orchestrator. And the second part is um, the service component or network service that is to as part of the end-to-end -end service, which is in our case the virtual IMS and virtual EPC. And those templates and package are shifted by SDC to the VFC. And the third part is actually um, the network connection service, because um, if you can remember um, from the previous diagram, the VOTI use case is actually um, having the virtual network functions deployed in two different data centers. One is the core data, uh, data center and the other is the edge data center. So um, in order for those network functions to be connected, perhaps across a one network, uh, we need to also design and deploy a network connection service between these two data centers, uh, which is described in this network connection service template from SDC to SDNC. So um, those three parts are actually um, the core service and resource templates designed by SDC. And in addition to that, uh, ONAP platform also support and the design of the policy, uh, alarm correlation rules, and also the DCAE uh, configuration. And ideally, those parts are also you know, designed as an integral part of the service design um, via SDC. But for the time and resource limit for release one, um, those three um, parts are actually um, designed separately from the portals of the policy, homes, and DCAE instead of integrated into the DC SDC at this point of time. And the next workflow is actually the most important one. Um, you know, it explains um, the interaction between different components when we actually initiate a VOTI service instance. Um, as you can see from the diagram, um, the user actually um, triggers a service initiation of the VOTI use case, uh, sorry, VOTI service via um, uh, the use case UI portal. And then the service orchestrator um, started by creating a service instant record for the end-to-end VOTI uh, service in at a and AI. And then it um, ask the parser uh, to get the information embedded from the end-to-end VOTI -end service template. And when the envelope is open, um, service orchestrator would find um, there are actually two types of components inside it. The first type is actually um, the one connection service part. Um, and it would delegate SDC to do uh, for, um, to do the service initiation for the one service. And SDNC would talk to um, the third party SDN controller. It depends on what device you would use to actually connect the two data centers. So um, we actually support multiple vendor solutions and device. Each of them came with their own uh, SDN controller. And it as, as depicted in this diagram, the third party SDN controller would talk to SDNC and uh, receive the uh, request from the SDNC and talks directly to the device to uh, do the service configuration uh, for the one connection. And then the SDNC would create a 
um, connection service record in the A and AI before it actually concludes uh, uh, the one service initiation. And next step uh, for service orchestrator is actually to deploy the two network service contained as the component of the VOTI uh, service, which is the virtual IMS and virtual EPC. For both network service, the service orchestrator would go to the VFC, the virtual function controller, to actually do the service in initiation. And the VFC would um, um, start by also creating uh, the network service instance record in AI, uh, respectively for virtual EPC and virtual IMS. And then it will also ask the parser uh, to get the information embedded to, uh, inside the network service template envelope. And inside, a VFC would find that, okay, there is in term two types of resources to be initiated. The first one is actually the connection or virtual link between different VNFs. And the second type, um, or as you can expect, uh, the different VNFs to be initiated as part of the service. So the SDC um, start with creating the virtual links uh, between VNFs um, by talking to uh, the multi-WIM, um, a multi-cloud component, which talks to actually to the virtual infrastructure manager to create the network um, connections, the virtual links. And then VFC would talk to the third party VNF manager in initiating um, each of the VNFs inside the network service. So after the VNF manager finished the resource allocation, um, VFC would talk to uh, the third party EMS system, element management system, to actually do the service configuration of the, for the each uh, VNFs. After that, um, uh, the VNF is created and a correspondent um, instance record would be also um, created in and AI. And that's actually the whole process of the service initiation of VOTI.